Lansing's first homicide of the year on New Year's Day. Thanks for joining us tonight, everyone. I'm AJ Hilton. That shooting happened early Tuesday morning outside a convenience store and left four others injured. Alyssa Finsky has more on the area. Neighbors call a hot spot for trouble. They were shooting at each other, and one guy said he had a 22 round clip, and the other guy said, Well, let's get it on, and then they shot, you know, continued shooting at each other. Knollwood Willow Neighborhood Association President Walter Brown says he heard the commotion last night and even had one person hide in his backyard for safety. They were shooting so fast, these were automatic weapons. It sounded to me like 25 or 30 shots. Other neighbors say the store is a hot spot for trouble. There's been a lot of activity around here before. This isn't the first homicide that's been over here, so. I mean, this kind of thing happens all the time, not necessarily gunshots, but there are fights that goes on around this store. But the danger will not keep customers like Raylan Clayton away for long. It's a bad place and it's not even a good place to go shop, but you get everything cheap, so why not? Lansing Police Captain Daryl Green says the homicide is still under investigation, though the store opened back up Tuesday afternoon. I will say that we never have enough information from the public. Uh, so we're still asking the public to assist us with whatever information they have that might be relative to shooting. Captain Green admits it's a rough start for the new year. This is a tragedy. Um, uh, the fact that we had a homicide on the beginning of 2013. In Lansing, Alyssa Fenske, Fox 47. Police have not yet released the name of the victim. The Ingham County Prosecutor's Office expects the suspect to be arraigned in the next two days.